15 Parenting Rules Kate Middleton makes her kids follow. There are a selected few who actually get to grow up as members of the royal family and live a life quite different than the rest of us. What is it like to grow up as a little prince or princess? While many children are and always will be their parents' little princes and princesses, there are a selected few who actually get to grow up as members of the royal family and live a life quite different than the rest of the families in the world. So have you ever wondered if there are some specific rules that the royal children have to follow from the very early age? Well, if you have, you've come to the right place, because today we are about to take a look at 15 unique parenting rules Princess Kate makes her kids follow. Kate Middleton and Prince William share two children at this point, Prince George of Cambridge and Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, and they are expecting their third baby to be born in April of 2018. However, royal parents do not, all parents want the best for their kids and develop a set of rules that help them raise their children the way they believe is the best. So what is Kate Middleton and Prince William's parenting style like? They have shared some of their parenting tips and tricks recently, and here they are. Fifteen. Be open with feelings. People. Advertising. X. Kate Middleton believes that talking openly to your children about feelings is one of the most important steps toward making them confident human beings. She wants her kids to always tell her how they feel, and she tries to teach them that it is okay to experience all kinds of emotion and that there is nothing shameful or wrong about that. She leads by example, so she also talks to them about her emotions and she also tries to explain to them the feelings they haven't experienced yet but might have witnessed other people going through However, first and foremost, Kate and Prince Charles want their kids to grow up feeling able to share their emotions with other people instead of bottling them up because they believe being able to do that is very important for person's mental health. Fourteen. Talk about everything. People. Advertising. X. According to Kate Middleton, open communication is the key that unlocks all doors, and it a very important part of her relationship with her children. She tries to talk to her children about everything and make them understand things in an appropriate way. Surely, growing up in a royal family must get really confusing for a child sometimes, so it is great that the kids can talk to their mom whenever they feel a little bit lost in that unusual world of theirs. And while some parents try to change the subject when it comes to talking to their children about some uncomfortable matters, Kate is all for talking to her kids openly and as honestly as possible. So while somebody might think that the royal family is overly tied up, Kate is not afraid of open communication with her children at all. Royal dress code. Popsicker. Advertising. X. Whether she wants to or not, Kate Middleton is required to make her kids follow all rules regarding the royal dress code.
For example, all young boys in royal family have to wear shorts instead of the long pants until they turn 8 years old. A pair of long pants on a young boy is considered inappropriate in suburban and, although the times are changing and people today wear all kinds of clothes that would have been considered completely inappropriate in the past, the royal family respects the traditions and they follow the rules created centuries ago when it comes to their clothes. And of course, there is a whole big set of rules when it comes to the royal dress code, but the most important thing is to always keep it classy. Twelve. You don't open the Christmas gifts on the Christmas Day. Us Weekly. While most of the kids get to open their Christmas presents on the Christmas morning, the British royal family follows a slightly different tradition. On Christmas morning, the royal family visits the service at St. Mary Magdalene in Sandringham so there wouldn't be enough time for the children to enjoy their presents anyway, but that is not the main reason why they don't open them then. In fact, this has to do with an old German tradition where the presents are opened on Christmas Eve. So in the evening, the family has a dinner together and after that, the parents go to the room with the Christmas tree and signal their children with a bell to come and open their presents. That bell sound is probably one of the favorite songs in the world for little George and Charlotte. Eleven. Arts and crafts are important. The Today Show. Advertising X. Kate Middleton teaches her kids the importance of arts and crafts, and she encourages them to create things by themselves. For example, they made their own little handmade gifts for Queen Elizabeth's 91st birthday, and they really enjoyed making them. Kate also tries to include her kids in her cooking, especially if she's making some goodies they love, for example, if she is baking cookies or their favorite Rice Krispie cakes. She admits that it doesn't always go according to the plan and that there is usually a lot of mess everywhere, but she enjoys doing that with her children, even though it sometimes really takes a lot of patience. Luckily, she is a calm person with a lot of positive energy and patience, so she always makes the most out of moments like these that she shares with her children. Ten. Let the kids be independent. ABC News. For some parents, not being by their child's side all the time seems like a pretty scary thought. However, Kate Middleton believes that it is very important to let the kids be independent and discover the world on their own. She believes that the right way is simply to set the right example and then watch them how they do on their own. According to her, sometimes, no matter how scary it might seem, you simply have to sit back and watch and let your kids do their own thing. She believes that the best thing you can do for your child sometimes is simply to get out of their way and to let them experience things their own way and at their own pace.
they will learn from their experience and become independent human beings. Point nine. The kids should be selfish sometimes. Vanity Fair. While this might come as quite a shock, Kate believes that it is okay to allow your children to be selfish from time to time. Sure, it is important to teach your children how to share, but they also have to understand the concept of possession. So, for example, if the child is playing with other kids and someone takes their toy away from them, it is perfectly alright to ask them to give it back. There is nothing wrong with not wanting your stuff taken away from you. Of course, Kate teaches her kids to do that without getting aggressive or making a scene, but a simple please and an explanation can get you the long way. Sometimes, the kids simply needs to take their own ground, and they shouldn't feel guilty about that. Featured today. Dot Mike the situation finally sober as he stares down years in jail. Dot Prince Philip sent to hospital for surgery. Doc Ben Affleck buys multi-million dollar home near his ex Advertising X.8. Play music with your kids Popsiger Australia. It might not seem like it, but Kensington Palace is actually a pretty rocking place Kate plays music to her kids all the time, and she also sings to them and encourages them to play all kinds of instruments. It has been proven that music has numerous really positive effects on the child's development, so Kate is trying to take all possible advantages of that. However, not only it is really useful to play music because all of its benefits for your child's brain and development, it is actually quite fun too, and Kate and her kids have a wonderful time singing and dancing around the palace together. Who knows which genres are the most popular among the royal family members these days? Seven. Encourage kids to find their talent. Metro. Advertising X. In order to let your children find their own talents, first, you have to expose them to as many different things as possible and let them decide on their own what they do and don't like. Kate believes that forcing the children into some particular activities is definitely not the right way to go, and it can actually be counterproductive. Kate is supporting her son's huge passion for motorcycles, planes, and helicopters even though she is pretty terrified of them, especially the motorcycles. She is also fully supportive of her daughter's passion for horseback riding, even though she has never been a fan of that herself. So the point is to let your kids discover what they enjoy doing and then just let them take it and run with it. Six. You must stop eating when the queen does. ABC News. It doesn't matter if you'd have barely touched your food and you are still really hungry, because when you are a member of the royal family, you have to follow the royal rules. Kate had to 
start teaching her children to behave in accordance with those rules from the very moment they started being aware of the world around them. So one of the oldest rules in the book is that everybody at the table stops eating when the queen does, no questions asked. It might seem a bit insensitive and really hard to take the food away from a toddler, but that is just how the things go when you are a member of the royal family. Some rules should never be questioned because they are a part of a centuries-long tradition. Five. You must have a perfect posture. AM 730. One of the first things that Kate Middleton had to teach her kids is how important it is for a royal to have a perfect posture. After all, no one wants to see a slouching prince or princess, don't they? So Kate has to remind her kids whenever necessary that their feet have to be at shoulder width apart, the chin has to be slightly lifted, and the knees bent a little bit. Also, the royal kids should never be seen with the hands in their pockets, no matter how much kids usually like to keep them there. Kate also has to remind them that, when they are sitting down, the spine must be perfectly straight, and if the legs aren't crossed, they have to be straight out, and the feet should be straight on the ground. Four dot extensive media training. Dot showbiz gossip. Dot advertising X. Dot if you are a royal kid, you will have to go through a pretty extensive media training before you leave the Kensington Palace for the first time. After all, you have to know how a proper royal should behave when people start to take pictures of you or even simply look at you. Kate and Prince William had to teach their kids how to master a Windsor wave with their tiny little hands. A Windsor wave is a royal way of saluting the people around you, and it was usually done with your hand vertical and with a slight twist of the wrist. Little Prince George is already a pro at this royal movement. He must have inherited that from his dad since Prince William was able to do wave perfectly when he was only 18 months old. Three dot teach your kids multiple languages. Point five seven zero news dot being multilingual and learning foreign languages is kind of a big thing for the members of the royal family. For example, Queen Elizabeth is perfectly fluent in French, Prince Philip in French and German, Prince Harry in Air Arabic, Prince William in Welsh and French, while his father speaks German and Welsh. You see the pattern, don't you? Basically, being able to speak at least one foreign language is a must among the members of the royal family. And, of course, the sooner you start teaching your kids new languages, the easier it will be for them to learn, so Prince George and Princess Charlotte are already learning the basics of Spanish. There is a reason to believe that once they master this language, they will have a chance to learn one or two more. Two dot educational days out. Dot travel plus leisure. Dot Kate is a big fan of the educational days out with her kids.
While they can learn a lot from their parents inside the Kensington Palace, Kate loves to take them out to visit museums, galleries, and the like. The kids seem to love it as well, especially Prince George who is a big fan sculpture, such as the ones displayed at Natural History Museum in London. Nurturing the culture and class is something that every royal should do with their child, so this is definitely a great way for Kate to teach their kids the importance of places such as the museum, for example. Apparently, Kate knows how to make the educational days out fun, so the kids are always looking forward to visiting some new interesting place with their mom and to learn something new as well. One dot teach your kids thoughtfulness. MB.NTD.TV. Growing up royal, it seems pretty easy to get spoiled. I mean, the very idea of being a prince or a princess somehow gives us the feeling that those kids are probably spoiled more than the regular kids. However, that is not the case at all. Kate Middleton has decided to teach her kids thoughtfulness early, and she reminds them all the time how important it is to be grateful for everything you have in life and how one should never take that for granted. They know they should always show the appreciation when somebody gifts them something, and they know the importance of the word thank you. For example, when Barack Obama and his wife visited the Kensington Palace, they brought a rocking horse to Prince George, and he immediately came out in his PJs to thank them.